All right, he is one of the best middleweights in the world and a man who has a great chance to bring a world title to South Africa. The middleweight contender, Drakus Duplessis. He's got power, he's got a lot of physical tools, underrated on the ground, and really he's been underrated every step of his UFC career. You had to look far and wide to find anyone that gave him a modicum of a chance going into that Robert Whittaker fight at UFC 290, and he absolutely bludgeoned the former champion at that point in time, there was nothing left to do with the South African Duplessis but to find him a title fight. And now we see just how world-class Drakus Duplessis really is. All right, so tonight we get another look at the decorated lightweight champion, Islam Makhachev. This is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. Such a nuanced game on the ground. Outstanding striker as well, and puts his belt on the line yet again tonight. Yeah, you know, Johnny, puts his belt on the line. This guy, this guy does everything so well. He's so well-rounded, he's so skilled, he's so gifted, and he is so confident in his ability to go and get you. It's that simple. I'm gonna get you. I'll get my hands locked, I'll throw you to the ground, and I will make you engage with me on my terms. That has allowed him to become the champion, and tonight, he has even more of an advantage because there's the boy, Hasbula. Hasbula entrenched in the corner of Islam Makashev, and he'll probably have a photo shoot later if fans are interested to see how it goes for Makashev tonight. Our tale of the date for this welterweight championship fight. Now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> April of 2016. UFC went there for the first time at UFC 200, and they've been bringing big shows seemingly every other month ever since. They call Vegas the fight capital of the world. And if you're taking for a ride, nice double leg, nice finish. Nice shots landing from the top position. Another ground and palm strike lands for this man. Oh, you gotta be careful there, yep. Good movement on the ground here defensively by Duplessis. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Go on, Kimura now. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Making all these shots count. Ooh. 
Well guard now, DC. For the top fighter, Duplessis got his head. Let's see if he can secure a guillotine choke here. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Oh, that's how you do it. Postures up and lands to the head. Great job being busy off of his back. Lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. Oh, arm triangle attempt now. Oh, that one looks really tight, DC. You gotta be kidding me. How good is this? This dude is constantly dodging bullets, Jay. Looks as though he will let his opponent stand back up. Yes. Just missed with the left there. Seconds here of round one. Duplessis oh. going to work here from guard and doing a pretty good job, I might add. All right, take a seat, bud. Good round. I need more of that this round, okay? I want you to be a little more active with your punches on the ground. Let's not let the ref stand this up. All right, so the crowd voicing its appreciation after that crazy sequence in the previous round nearly submitted him there, DC. This is usually what we get with striking. But tonight, you have a very educated crowd. They appreciate high-level grappling, and they are getting that tonight in this fight. That submission was in deep, but wow, what a great job of escaping and living to fight Ready another fight. day. Ready. Second round on the way. That punch was deflected. Yes, you're done. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get in this race. He doesn't get finished. Drops down inside the out for the guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. He's getting the bone here. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Looks like he's going for an arm bar here. How tight is that? He's got it isolated. Oh, that's gotta be it. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Neon Belly. Under three minutes now to go in round two. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Islam Akashev getting worked over something fierce here by those hammer fists. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, full guard now, DC. The fight on the top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound in it. Guillotine attempt now. Looks as though he's got the neck. Ooh, he's got it locked in. Nice shot there by the champ. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Makashev ground and pound from half guard now. Let's see if he can do some damage. Gotta watch his neck. 
Ooh, arm triangles in tight. It's getting in very tight. Arm triangle in tight. Oh, and there's the oh, horn at oh, the end oh. of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, mercifully, that is it for the round. And Makashev bleeding pretty bad from the forehead here. Hopefully the cut man can nip that in the bud and make sure that that blood doesn't trickle down into his eyes as the next round begins. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick, DC. Talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down Ready. that head kick. He threw it, it yeah. landed, and he almost got the pin. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Yeah. Oh. by Drakus Duplessis. Really using his reach advantage to great effect with that punch there. Tries to work it into a takedown. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Big double leg level team. Makashev's in half guard. Oh, tight submission attempt now with the Darce. That Darce choke is tight. Good job by the chance there. Sliding back up. Makashev's got an arm. Looks like he's trying to lock up a Kimura. Ooh, that submission looks tight. Duplessis getting pounded by those hammer fists. We might get a stoppage here. The way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Jeff, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because he's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch a guy comfortable even when he's under attack. Oh, nice combination of ground and pound here by Islam Makashev. Great shot from the top position. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position. Oh, in good position to rip off a Kimura here. Oh, man, he's getting deep. Oh, so now he bails on the submission. He bailed, and rightfully so. You keep the dominant position. Great job. Very smart fighter we got there. Good, solid strike on the ground. Side control now. Outstanding ground and right pound down. here. Somewhat of a right lost down. art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Well, that combination is going to leave a mark. You see him getting top position, standing over his opponent, and delivering the ground strike. Nice job by Islam Akasha. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, so the cut man attends to the fighter who has essentially been rendered a one-eyed fighter at this point in time. Some replays from the previous round. No defensive intent, no defensive intensity. No attention to his defense, and this costing him. Now he's dealing with a massive cut over his eye, and that's going to make it hard for him to see. He's got to change something, man. He's got to. Ready to fight. Ready. Good. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of a fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever... Oh, 
position right off the cut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and they got right to the top. Side control now. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Islam Akasha. Oh, crucifix from the top position, DC. If you're on the bottom, what are you trying to do to get out? On the bottom, you've got to start bridging. You've got to drive your feet and your heels. In. Oh, he's going triangle here. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Very smart there. You never favor submission over a dominant position. Work, guys. Just over three minutes now to go. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Islam Makashe. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Now he's got good body position. Yup. All right, he's got the hooks in. DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. All right, so a wise decision by him to continue to attack that cut. And it's getting wider by the minute. It's getting wider by the minute. This guy is, is, a, is a fantastic fighter, and he's as smart as they come. So the moment that cut opened up, you knew that that would become his focus, and we are seeing it very clear right now. Makashev's back in full mount. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Yep, got to be very careful there. Duplessis in half goal. Oh, nice. Makashev's back inside control here. Trying to set up a submission now. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. However compromised, make their way back to the feet. They may be tired, but that tired and that fatigue is warranted. That was a high-level grappling exchange between two phenomenal grapplers. Great, great round. Your round all the way. I need more of the same. I want you to get out there, secure that takedown. Put this guy All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide Ready of fight. this fight. Ready. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Duplessis. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Lead kick is true there by Islam Makashe. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? The fighters separate. Oh, wow. Massive uppercut. That will not feel good tomorrow. Oh, two strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, landing some big shots, too. over giving up that submission. Uh, 
Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Makashev's in half guard. Another ground and pound strike lands. Changing the position. Now it's his mount. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Duplessis. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Duplessis, Zai is starting to swell shut. Great defense by this fighter. Duplessis, ground and pound from half guard. He is making these shots count. Pretty good work with the strike there from bottom position. Relentless pressure from the top by Duplessis. All right, try to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. All out action right through the final minute. Nobody in this arena is sitting down. What a fight. Well, Ladies the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable the Bruce Buffett. Four cards for decision. The judges score the contest. 48-47, 49-46, and 49-46. For the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Islam Makachev. All right, so another one bites the dust. Another challenger goes by the wayside. Congratulations to the still undisputed UFC welterweight champion.